Welcome back to Jamming and Air Repair. Today we're back working on the 1999 Jeep Grand Cherokee Laredo that Scott brought over a few months ago. And we did, what did we do? We did an oil and filter on it. Yeah, oil time. change on it. And today, Scott's dealing with the thermostat and water pump. got some wetness going on down there so and I figure since they're both the, this is where the what in where the temp thermostat is and then the water pumps right behind this here fan here okay. I might as well just do them both at the same time yeah you can see it's wet down there and it's been leaking for the last couple weeks all right so we're pulling out the thermostat what's step number one we're gonna have to remove the the, the whole to get to the water pump it water pump anyway. I'm gonna have to remove this shroud here, which also remove which remo will help remove the fan. So I kind of gotta work at both. It's kind of a multitasking deal here. Okay. So. Yeah. Did you just find a wrench down there? No, I didn't find a wrench. <laughs> I had it sitting in there. Oh. So I'm gonna have to use it to move the therm move the tensioner. Anyway, there's an electrical connection for an electric fan right here. As you can see, it's kind of hard to get my finger on it. Uh, it was easier to reach around with my hand before. And you gotta push that red tab out. It's on the bottom part of the harness here. There's that. And that is now disconnected to the electric fan. Okay. And then if we got a drain pan here, because this is gonna probably drain some coolant when I do this. Uh right underneath there. And we don't I don't want Elmer Elmer having his final beverage be my coolant. Yeah, I'm pretty good about that. clamp off first for the upper hose is there a uh, pack cock on that oh on the radiator itself yeah or you don't yeah there that. is one but i don't know if it works or not it's way down if you can see it on the can where yeah. that plug was there's a knob but we're just me. taking off the upper hose and that's yes. it right okay yeah just because it's in the way where i need to work okay I'd like to know whoever put this back on like they did. Squeeze it, squeeze it. You know, I have the right tool for that, so oh. <laughs> I'm probably. Uh, yeah, I'll let it. Let's this oh, here, let me, I can get it. I'm sure, I'm sure that's probably an original. <laughs> probably original one from 99, so. Wouldn't surprise me if this doesn't come off the greatest. Oh, this side's coming off better. What do you know? There we go. That's okay. Scott's done this once or twice. Yes. This is his third time. <laughs> <laughs> not, on this, not on this particular vehicle, but I've done it a few times on a few other vehicles in my life. Thank you. <laughs> but those aren't on the camera to see. There we go. There we go. That'll work. Here's that part. Hey, okay. Is that? Well, you take it out just the top, top mm. of the radiator. Yeah. The shroud and the yeah, fan. to get the shroud and out. So you need a couple of uh, different wrenches. I may have to go underneath for a couple of these. Put 
What are you getting there? The worst possible spot they could have put that well, in. That's why you go get a sock. Yeah. May have to. Yeah, go get a socket. What is that? Yeah, 10 mil. 10 millimeter? Yep, the elusive 10 mil. Right here. Okay. A little extension, maybe. Yeah. Might have to put a servo on that. Other side. Nice. But they're very noisy. Yeah, of course. There's, there. that one. There's that one. Now where's the other? Way the hell down there. There's gonna have to be a swivel on there. There's a wobble. Go ahead, try it. The wobble is not good. Wobble. Work. I call those wobble extensions. That's, that's the technical name, actually. Yeah, the wobble don't work too well. How about that? Yep, that'll work. Maybe. Can just get it in there. Nope. It's going to push ball. Hey. Hey, the shit design. Huh. Right, sir. Chrysler engineers, what in the hell were you thinking when you made this son of a bitch? Uh, half inch, we'll go a quarter. Ten mil. It's a breaking all this crap. <laughs> I'm gonna try to ram that back in. Yeah. Hence why we're called jamming in there up here. That's right. This is very handy. <laughs> wow, that is, uh, <laughs> who in the hell designed that? Someone's gonna get some engineer needs to get beat terribly for this. Especially putting it right next to a frame rail like they did. You know what we will do? Just well, here, break the bitch. Let me take a Why would they do that? Engineer, engineering not the engineers being stupid. No. The accountant says this radiator, which is two inches too big, is cheaper. That very well could be too. So we used it in another car. We're gonna just make it fit. Use it on about 20 other cars and make it fit. Yep. Oh. And just jam it in there. <laughs> That's right. Gotcha. That's enough of this. <laughs> I'm, I'm done. <laughs> hold on, hold on. Hold on, plastic. Hold on. Sorry. Unless you got something better, quicker. There we go. Show them what tool we're using real quick. Scott. It is a oscillating cutoff tool. Get in there. And we are about to cut the stupid tab because I'm getting peeved with it. Oh, 
I'll see the channel right now. It's hard for me to see you in there. It's these safety glasses. Oh, you're still hot. Not bright. Huh? There's enough. No, nothing like a little. Ah, oh, great. Putting that tab right there. Hard to see with those safety glasses. Well, show you while he's cutting once he pulls it out. Good enough for me. Bolts yep. Because we got ticked off that shroud. Yeah, because look at that. It's in a tight, it's in the worst spot possible. You cannot get that fucking thing out of there. That's crazy. I thought that was a good idea. We really struggled getting this fan clutch pulley assembly off of this car. And he's removing a small nut that holds the pulley on. Don't do that. We've already removed the belt. Don't do that. We've already loosened the fan shroud. Don't do that either. The first thing you have to do is get that big nut right below his finger. And that will allow that fan to unthread. And the way you do that is you take a small needle nose vice grips clamp it to the water pump pulley. I'll show you in a little bit where to clamp it. And then you take a channel locks and you break that big nut loose so the fan can unscrew. It's a standard right hand thread so it'll just un, un, uh, bolt rather easily. And then once you got that loose, you can go ahead and remove the shroud and then you can take the fan and the shroud out at the same time. But uh, you're wasting your time if you don't break that big nut loose first. So we spent <laughs> an hour and a half, maybe more. We really fought with this thing. And the last thing you want to do is take off the water pump pulley screws at this point. It's a complete waste of time. So that's my advice. Now that we've All been right. through the last hour and a half of hell trying to figure out how to get that fan out. <laughs> yeah. What it is, is get the fan real quick. Let's show them how it goes on there. All right. Um, just so you avoid all the extra work. It's what a big you need ass. To do before you take off your belt, and before you, uh, uh, the first thing you need to do is get this off of here. Yep. It's a regular right handed thread. And uh, you need to clamp this pulley somehow. Uh, we use the vice grips right here on the edge because yeah. we already pulled the belt off. With that, let us get the uh, break that nut loose. Last so, um, but yeah, don't disconnect your water pump pulley first. That was a complete waste of time. That was a lesson learned <laughs> right. on this vehicle. So yeah, we may need to vice grips that pulley again to get those nuts off. Just the one, because then we were cranking on that one particular nut. <laughs> right. So, all right. So now we're just going to remove. Trying to figure out how to get this puppy off. Take a look at the uh, new one. It looks like the new one has one, let's see here. One, two, two three, five. four, like five bolts. bolts. And there's a long bolt at the top. So, don't mix up your bolts. Yeah. yeah. That was the trick. <laughs> this is what we did. Clamp the little vice grip like that. May not be the nicest thing to do with my, my pulley, but no. we don't get, it'll work. 
Uh, it, didn't, it, didn't it didn't hurt the pulley at all. No. But uh, that's how we clamped it to get the... Because we, the, we pulled off the belt first. Yes. Which was a pain in the ass. But uh, um, once job. you get this off of here, everything else comes out real yes. easy. We wow. also did cut, cut the mount. Where did it show them where we cut that mount? Right here. Because we got ticked off that shroud. Yeah, because look at that. It's in a tight, it's in the worst spot possible. You cannot get that fucking thing out of there. That's crazy. I thought that was a good idea. Oh well. So now, we're going to just take out the five bolts for the water pump. And the lower radiator hose. And the lower radiator hose. There we go. That's helping. <laughs> There, there we go. go. Huh, we hit the bucket. <laughs> kind of. Mostly. While we give while the Jeep gets a cool and shower. That's good. Just to, Beautiful. That's down to scraping gaskets time. All right. Excellent. How's it feel? Do you think you're uh, right in that it was a uh, probably a we pull thermostat? Yeah, I'm thinking it was probably might as well just do both since I'm right there. Yeah. It turns good and everything, but it's possible it could have been leaking out the wee pole too. Really? Where is the wee pole? It looks like it's up here on this one. Hmm. Yeah, but, it's hard to tell. But it's hard to say, especially with the miles given on this vehicle and no knowledge of what, if this has ever been done. I prefer to replace it and just be smart about it. All right. You help on Elmer. Especially yeah. with the cost of new machines. All right, square for right here. Oh, perfect. That'll work great. <sighs> Hmm. Yeah, these are cheap ones. I, I need to buy better ones. They work. <laughs> they do the job. The uh, good ones are like twice as good. Yeah, but they cost twice as much too. Yeah, I glad I don't pay more. But it's worth it in the end. I bought some cheap flashlights off of Amazon. Hate them. Or near as bright as the ones you can buy at Menards. Oh yeah, just perfectly. Next. 
I'm getting the water pump in. <sighs> Finally. After all the other BS, they came with putting this, taking this in and out. So, sorry about that. Camera issues, camera guy problems, mainly. I left. <laughs> oh, I uh, left Scott here to figure this out on his own. And I had it pretty well figured out. It's just getting this belt dug on now. So, the hardest part was getting that fan yeah. clutch assembly off. Fan clutch loose. Loose, yes. So, uh, the right technique is get the right tool. <laughs> yeah. Short of that, take your belt off and you can clamp a vice grip on the pulley like we did. And then it should come apart. We just happened to do it the very, very more difficult way of removing the bolts that are on the pulley. Not knowing because I'm used, last time I did a fit, one of these jobs was on a Ford F, F 150 1996 model, I believe. With a 351 Windsor, and it's the fan comes off the whole pulley on those. Right. So, therefore, assuming, which makes an ass out of everyone, including you and me, <laughs> as they as it well goes, as the old spiel goes. Ah, shit. Twisted? Uh, yeah, I pull, pull it, pull it back off that balancer pulley down on the bottom of the motor. Okay. There. There, she's on. Okay. Crawl under, check the bottom one. Bottom's on. Are you sure? Yes, I can see it. Okay, see it over here. We're on. I'm letting go. There. Okay. Now she feels good. Yeah. Alrighty. All right. So we got the uh, pulley on there. So got all your hoses on. Did you close the pet cock if you opened it? Yep, everything is checked. So I never opened the pet cock on the tank. Turn it over. There you go. We'll fill it just a little bit. You fill it up here. Check it. How is that looking? Pretty good. Yeah, you could add more. Anything down there? Nope, looks good. So we got Scott's Jeep all taken care of. Then we got the water pump installed, thermostat installed. Uh, that was actually a few days ago. 
Uh, he hasn't called me back, so everything must be working fine for him. I know I missed out on some of the footage, putting the fan and shroud in and out. Uh, but really, once you got them loose, they literally just lift in and out. Nothing hard there. You didn't miss anything. Uh, putting everything back together is the opposite of taking it all apart. Duh. So, uh, you should be able to figure that part out. But cutting that tab with the oscillating saw, much easier than trying to get that stupid bolt out. And in the end, it still supported it just fine. So, I wouldn't worry about that. And seriously, taking off the uh, fan nut first is, is an important step. So... Hopefully this long video helped you uh, decide whether you want to do this project your own. And uh, you should. You can do it if you like turning wrenches. If you like what you saw today, uh, leave a comment, ring the bell, get a reminder that uh, uh, new videos come out approximately once a week. And uh, I appreciate it. It really helps the channel. I'm also selling stickers. Yeah, why not? I don't have any to show you. But go to jamminginthere.com and buy a sticker. Really appreciate it. Have a good day. Bye-bye.